course, it's, it's a really critical issue for colleges who want to work internationally. Um, if, if you don't have your highly trusted sponsor status, your HTS status, then you can't work recruiting students. So it's absolutely fundamental um, issue for colleges that we can talk about opportunities in India, opportunities in Brazil, opportunities in the Middle East, all over the world, what we want to do. But if you don't have your HTS, your highly trusted sponsor status, then you can't work via student recruitment. So it's an issue that probably has been the one that's taken up the most time for the AOC's international work this year. And it has been a, a, a busy year, for want of a better, better word, with the work we've been doing with the Border Agency. Um, we've seen, for example, some highly trusted sponsor revocation. So colleges who have had their HTS status removed, um, but then subsequently reinstated following that decision being challenged. Um, we've seen a system where border agency officials now are starting to interview students who already have the points they require to study in the UK and making fairly, what we would say, arbitrary decisions um, on those students and having their visas refused. Uh, we've had um, reports back from our colleges through our surveys that the communication channels with the border agency haven't always been as smooth and effective as they should be. And that's particularly frustrating because as a sector, we do want to work effectively with the border agency. Um, we have no interest in bogus students, we have no interest in being bogus providers. We want genuine students and we take a very robust, professional, mature approach to our work as sponsors. And, and that is fuelled better by having a good relationship with a uh, border agency. So I guess with all those things, whether it's talking about HTS revocations, which are subsequently overturned, um, whether it's talking about um, uh, individual students having their visas refused, based on arbitrary decisions, whether it's based on slow or poor communication with the border agency, it comes down to wanting to have a better relationship, a more commonsensical, driven, common sense driven relationship with the agency. And that's something we're trying to do by having regular meetings. And it's actually quite heartening that the border agency are here at this conference to present to the colleges to run through um, what they want us to do, but also for us to challenge them to make sure that they understand what we need them to do to help us to be good sponsors. And although it is extremely frustrating and extremely challenging and extremely worrying for colleges, um, there does seem to be a little bit of thawing in the ice between ourselves and the agency. We're having regular meetings now, for example. They have introduced a 28-day rule to allow a gap between notification of HTS revocation and actual revocation to allow that period for colleges to present um, arguments why they shouldn't have their HTS revoked. So there's some little signs that there's a beginning of a better understanding, but there's still a lot of bridges for us to cross, and, and especially the big, big issue at the moment for colleges is the one around these um, uh, credibility interviews. So a student will apply for their visa, they will meet the, the requirements set down by the border agency for the number of points they need to get a visa, so English language level, academic level, financial uh, history, etc., etc., but then will be um, required to do an interview with an entry clearance officer who can then make a decision whether or not the student uh, has the necessary, is credible in their application for their, their student visa and then could then, despite the student meeting all the, all the prerequisites, all the requirements, have that visa removed. And that's extremely worrying for colleges because, you know, we're trying to work with the system, but then at the end of the, the pipeline there's a sort of a, a part we have no control over and what ramifications will that have for um, asked to HTS status because of HTS status defined by visa refusals. Will that will that have a knock-on effect on that? What reputation? What damage will it have for our UK's reputation? That students done all they can to meet the requirements of the UK and then still not get a visa. And obviously the financial ramifications that it, it's expensive to go and recruit students. And if students, you've done all you can to do it in the right way. You Skype them. You've checked their English language level. You work with the right sort of agents. And then still loses their visa then obviously that's going to have a knock-on effect on the college's financial opportunities afforded by working internationally. So that's a big issue, one we're going to have to pick up with uh, the border agency. We're still working with them around this, um, the lack of equality between universities and other providers. So you know, a student who's sponsored by a university can work more, um, can do a longer internship, uh, where um, can do a university language test rather than an external language test or a student studying at college has to do a, uh, an external test, has less, has lower working rights, um, and etc., um, etc. Et so we're not asking for um, that 
for, for a preferential treatment, just asking for equal treatment with universities. Because otherwise it sends out the wrong message, it, you know, it implies that every university is a better sponsor than every college. And, and uh, the recent fallout from London Met University uh, would certainly show that that isn't the case and that the university sector, like all sectors, has challenges. And, and the bottom line is that if you're a highly trusted sponsor, you should be a highly trusted sponsor, whether you're from a university sector, FE sector or, or, or private college sector for that moment. If you meet HTS requirements, then there should be a, a level playing field for all people on, on, the, on that level. So, that's the, so that, along with the credibility interviews, are the sort of key issues at the moment where we're working with the border agency on trying to promote the college uh, offer, if you like, and make to, to, to encourage a better understanding about why they should be sensitive and understanding of what our colleges are doing internationally.